Hello and welcome back to W Series Off Track, the all access show that brings you, the fans, into the heart of the W Series paddock. The season isn't over yet, I will get my win. You know you can't ask me questions like that. Think you're lying. You can do that. Let's not waste any time and get straight into the action from a red hot race at round three in Silverstone. This is one of the best circuits anywhere on earth and it is an expectant pit lane. Great to have your company for what is the third qualifying session of the year. Fastest time of the session so far for Alice Powell. Well, Powell's got a problem and her name is Fabian Volvend. Chadwick, can she find something? Goes up to P3. Alice Powell just clinging onto it. Powell to pole position. Lights out, we're underway for W Series. Into the lead for Fabian and Volven. This battle is the battle for the lead. It's now down to half a second. Oh, oh look at this! There's a change to the lead, and Alice Powell has got through. Alice Powell wins at Silverstone with a superb drive. A second win in 2021 for Alice puts her at the top of the standings, closely followed by Jamie Chadwick and Sarah Moore. After the race, though, I caught up with second place driver Fabian Volven. Fabian, obviously you can hear I've basically lost my voice because I was screaming so much when it was that battle between you and Alice. So proud of you, your second podium of the year. How are you feeling? Yeah, thank you, love. Um, of course, mega start. I think that was the best start I did in W Series. Lights out, we're underway for W Series at Silverstone. Good getaway for Volven. So happy to, to take the lead away from Alice and then Amazing first 12 minutes until safety car had a safe gap from more or less a second. Then after the safety car, I knew I was really pushing on my tires. I was struggling a bit with the balance. And then, yeah, out of turn 15, I had a bad exit. And then I just locked the brakes. Mistake from my side. Ellis saw it and used it. There's a change. There's a change to the lead. And Alice Powell has got through. Fabian Volven was wide. And Alice Powell takes the lead with five minutes to go. But yeah, another podium, P2, important point for the championship. The season isn't over yet. I will get my win for sure at some point. You crossed that line in front of a huge Formula One audience. How was that feeling? It was just insane. It's, it's so great to be here like with all the fans. It feels like going back to normal again slowly and standing on the podium and all the fans like cheering uh, for us. It was like just unbelievable. I, I don't think I've been in front of so many people before in my life and it just makes me so proud and I'm so thankful for W Series, the Bunker Racing Formula One for making all of this possible. Well, you're now fourth in the championship. What are you planning to do to climb the order and get to that top place in the championship? Yeah, I think I really shown that I one of the championship contenders. I want to keep the momentum and yeah, just score another podium in Hungary Ring in two weeks. Fantastic. Well, we know you have it in you. Congratulations once more. Now let's hear from the rest of the drivers. And remember, it's just one word. Let's see if they can keep it clean. Boom. Average. Bad. Frustrating, but amazing. Tricky. Improvement. British. Difficult. Horrible. Teamwork. Underwhelming. Sorry. Frustrating, but promising. Aggravating. Follow the leader. Home crowd. Average. Hot. Silver. Thank you so much for keeping it clean, ladies. Meanwhile, the rivalry between Sarah Moore and Alice Powell just keeps heating up. Here's what happens when we just gave them scooters in the paddock. Powell and Moore, Moore and Powell racing on scooters. Already the mind games have started. We're in the glamour of the W Series paddock. The flag drops and we're off. Moore with a better start. But here comes Alice Powell down the inside. Well, there's not much to this track, but it's still better than 90% of the Tilka circuits we race at. Alice Powell stretching clear, and guess what? It's happened again. This time on two wheels, Alice Powell is the winner. Is this the thing to us? Oh, that friendship is definitely hotting up. Let's hope it ends well. So we're here at Silverstone. Who better to talk to than the W Series founder, Catherine Von Muir, about the success of W Series. Oh, Catherine, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm very, very well, Naomi. How are you? I'm good. So I want to know, we're here at the British Grand Prix. W Series is a partner of Formula One. How are you feeling? 
unbelievably excited. Never in my wildest dreams when I was sitting at my kitchen table writing business plans would I have thought in our second season we would be here at Silverstone racing alongside Formula One and one of the best Grand Prix in the world. Here we go then on a glorious day. Welcome back to W Series in 2021. I want to get to you a little bit more from the fan side, you being a fan of W Series. Who would you say is your favourite driver? Naomi, you know you can't ask me questions like that. Oh, Obviously, on. I don't Surely you have, have a favourite driver. <laughs> 2019, my favourite driver was you, Naomi. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you say you think is doing well or has a chance to win this year? Well, I think the real surprise of this year so far is Irisidokova. Second place goes to Irisidokova, the Russian, the 18-year-old. I think she's a fantastic talent for the future. But um, I, I just can't get away from the, the four favourites of 2019. That's Jamie, that's Alice, that's Bysker and Emma. Yeah. And I think towards the end of the season, there'll be a, it'll be a fight between those four. One last question. How fast do you think you'd be in a W Series car? You'll never, ever get me in one. Oh. I'm, I'm quite a fast driver normally, obviously never over the speed limit, but no, no, I like my life. I'm not going in one. So I think we need to call Dave Ryan and get you in a car. Maybe that's a challenge. But right now, let's talk about one of your newest drivers, Abby Pulling. I'm Abby Pulling and I'm a racing driver. Abby Pulling, one of the stories of that session on debut inside the top 10. I got into racing at a, an early age. My dad did long circuit motorbikes and I, I tagged along and I got a uh, go-kart at the age of eight and it kind of all stemmed from there really. When I first started, me and my dad went and it was very much, you know, dad and lass and uh, we went just for fun. It was later on in my career, age 12, 13, where I started, you know, really getting uh, competitive and winning. I'm seriously impressed with Abby pulling. Abby could be a dark horse for pole position. My family is my uh, biggest supporter, really. You know, my dad is quite sad that he's not able to, to come along with me to, to some of the races this year. He's my biggest supporter, biggest fan. That's Abby pulling, looking for the move. I would say on track I'm quite aggressive and off track I'm very much a bit of a clown. <laughs> I think racing in W Series is, is a huge opportunity and I'm so excited to, to be involved. Hungary is a tricky track in a way, uh, it's pretty physical as well, uh, but I like it though. Uh, some say that there is not so much um, overtaking opportunities, but I think that there is always overtaking opportunities, no matter what, at what track you are. And there is some good uh, breaking places as well, so you can definitely overtake there. So it's going to be probably really, really cool to be there. And me as a Finn, it's almost like a home race because lots of Finns come to uh, Budapest to see, to see the race. So I hope that uh, the world opens and there might be a lot of uh, fans and supporters from Finland. Welcome to a new W Series off-track game, which we're calling Do You Really Really Know Me? And I've got Sarah Moore with me and Jamie Chadwick. We've got three cards in front of us, two lies, one truth. And they've got to convince each other that they're telling the truth. We'll start with Jamie. I once lied to get into a VIP bit in a bar by saying I was George Russell's sister. Did they question it? George was already in the bar, in this VIP bit, and it was really busy around the rest of the bar. And I obviously wanted to get into that bit. And so I just said that, oh, that guy, George Russell, I'm his sister. We're they related. They didn't question it, they just let you straight in. Yeah, they let me in. I don't know, I think you're lying. Are you lying? Yes, I am lying. <laughs> <laughs> I won a kart race at Fort Moore Park with a broken arm. How did you break it? So I was doing the formation lap and some geezer, don't know who it was, some geezer just put me in the tires, like to have the tires down the middle. You went from last to win the race. Yeah. I think that could be true. I believe you. I believe you. It's a lie. I thought that that was unbelievable. It's my turn. I once flipped a racing car three times and landed upside down. Three times? What track was it? Nürburgring. What corner? Last chicane. And how did you go off? I hit the brake, lost the rear, went on the grass, and the grass was wet. 
So I kept sliding and I think there's a gravel trap there. I hit it with a front wing, which dove into the gravel and then I started flipping. I think you're lying because I don't remember a gravel trap in the last game. It's the truth. Is it? Really? Oh. There definitely is a gravel trap there. Yeah. <laughs> so there you have it then. Sarah Moore is clearly not to be trusted. Jamie obviously trusts everyone too much. And I should probably just stop flipping cars. But in the meantime, Alice Powell takes on our W Series Off Track Challenge. I feel really nervous. Three, two. I'm so nervous. Okay, well, I'm going to grab a handful. I've got to get more than three. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. You know what? I'm just going to do that. None of them went in! Are you taking the risk? This is just absolutely taking. Oh. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. 60 seconds is going to go really quick. I can't pick the box up. Come on. Go in the this is so stressful, this is hard. Oh no, look. Oh yes. Come on. Come on. Oh, I didn't touch the box. I didn't touch the box. How am I getting none in? Ten seconds. Oh my days. This is more stress than I need right now. Oh, come on. Go in. Go in. I reckon it's there's no liquid in them. It makes the cups wobble. No excuses, Alice. Four points puts you in joint last place. So we're three races in and this championship is really starting to get serious. Alice Powell heads to Hungary with the whole pack chasing hot on her heels. You don't want to take your eyes off of it. So make sure to tune in for all the action from Hungary. <laughs>